Now for this first part then we're given the function f and we're told to find the inverse function f to the minus 1 of x. So how do we do it? Well when we're doing any question like this what I would do is I would say let x equal and wherever we have x's in our equation we need to replace them with y's. So x would equal 3 minus 2y all divided by y minus 5. And then what we need to do now is rearrange this equation to make y the subject. So if we were to do that we'd multiply both sides by y minus 5 to get rid of the denominator here. And so we'd therefore have x multiplied by y minus 5 equals 3 minus 2y. And now I need to expand the bracket here so I can gain access to this y. So we'd get xy minus x times 5 or minus 5x equals 3 minus 2y. Now we've got two terms that contain the subject y so we need to bring those to the same side and remove the minus 5x. So what I'm going to do is add 2y to both sides and add 5x to both sides. So that's going to give me xy plus 2y equals 3 plus 5x or 5x plus 3. Either way it doesn't matter. Now we just need to factorize this. y is a common factor so we can pull it out in front of a bracket and we'll have x plus 2 and that would equal 5x plus 3. And finally to get y we just need to divide both sides by x plus 2. So therefore we have y equals 5x plus 3 all divided by x plus 2. Now we were asked to find the inverse function f to minus 1 of x so we should say therefore the inverse function f to minus 1 of x equals 5x plus 3 then all divided by x plus 2. Now what I'd encourage you to do is if you've got time on your hands in an exam is you could always run a quick check for something like this. What we have got, if I just draw a quick sketch, if we took our set of values say x and took some number in here, worked out what f of x was for this particular number, let's do f of x, we're going to get another value. And a good value to take, make this very easy to work out, whenever I got fractions I'd always try and make the denominator a nice simple value and in this case I can make the denominator 1 if I choose x to be 6. So in other words if I choose f, uh, uh, x I mean to be 6, f of 6 will give me a value. Let's see what it's going to be. Let's just work out what f of 6 is. f of 6 is going to equal 3 minus 2 times 6. Well, 3 minus 12 that will be, all over 6 take away 5. So we're going to have 3 minus 12 over 6 take away 5. Well, I chose 6 take away 5 just to give us the 1. 3 minus 12 then is minus 9. So 6 maps on to minus 9. Now if we're correct down here what I would expect is that when I put minus 9 into this inverse function I hope I get back 6. So what I need to do is work out f the minus 1 of minus 9. Keep my fingers crossed that we get 6. So if we do that we've got 5 times minus 9 which is minus 45 then we've got to add 3 and that's all divided by minus 9 plus 2. So what have we got? We've got minus 42 then divided by minus 7 and indeed that is equal to 6. So that's telling me that if that comes back onto that value f to the minus 1 of minus 9 turns out to be that 6. So there's a good chance then that I've got this right. So I'd encourage you as I say to do a check if you've got time to do it.